Yo, what is up guys? So, ayan. Welcome back to another Farlight 84 video. So today, we're gonna be reacting to the biggest update in Farlight 84. So, ayan, ta uh, nasa ano na siya, nasa YouTube. So, kakatapos lang nila mag, ano, mag premiere ng video. So, we're gonna be reacting to the new update. So, okay, let's start. Hi, Hi buddy. buddy! Welcome to Farlight 84. I'm, La I'm Lazy <clears throat> Cass. And I'm Chance. Yo. The brand new expansion of Farlight 84 is about to drop. Farlight 84 has always pushed boundaries, bringing you experience <clears throat> like never before. Today, we have a special and important announcement. After years of evolution, Farlight is about to enter a new era. Mm -hmm, Once mm -hmm. again, we're pushing the limits with the brand new expansion, Hi Buddy. We're thrilled and eager to finally reveal the exciting new gameplay we've been cooking up for a very, very long time. Ooh, this is Farlight 84. Hi, buddy. We're bringing you three major innovations that will open up endless possibilities. The Buddy Orb and the Buddies, introducing a groundbreaking pack catching battle royale, what? giving you endless playstyle possibilities. What? <laughs> it completely <laughs> expand arsenal to bring a Scar. more realistic shooter experience. It's Scarlet. Maps, overhaul terrains and structures, inspiring tactical play at all ranges. Okay. Plus, today, you'll uncover new you stories map? and details about the Farlight universe. So, without further ado, let's dive <laughs> straight into the world of Farlight 84. Hi, buddy! Okay, okay, okay. Fallout 84 combines Battle Royale with a pad catching system for the first time in the industry. This isn't just any in game pad system, it's a system that's deeply integrated with gameplay mechanics. In Fallout 84, you'll use <clears throat> buddy orbs to catch buddies. This new system will expand your strategies in countless ways. Na I can't ano? wait to see what these buddies are all about. Na well, gameplay. we'll get to that in a moment. First, let's take a closer look at what the Body Orb is. Okay. My body the Body Orb, orb is a high-tech device that can capture many things, giving you endless possibilities to manage resources. Developed with the help of Sano, the Body Orb can shrink objects <laughs> and store them within the orb. At the start of each match, oh. your character will have one reusable Body Orb. This means you'll always have at least one orb in each match. You can also find Body Orbs through the supply chests, airdrops and sponsor boxes. P Pokemon. The unique part is that body orbs found in supplies come with items Bug inside. Ah, What's inside, we'll reveal guns. that a bit later. Your backpack can hold up to six captured buddies and items, which you can select using the inventory wheel. Once in the area, just throw the body orb at your target and the capture begins. You can even capture multiple targets at the same time, ka na ng Pokemon. In this version, every capture is guaranteed <laughs> at 100%. And their process <clears throat> cannot be interrupted. So finally, can we talk about these mysterious creatures? Can we find <laughs> this? All right, all right. Finally, we're getting to the main part. Mm -hmm. Up next, we'll dive into the origins and mechanics of buddies and introduce to you oh, these ano, new ano friends si from the Far Life universe. These mysterious life forms, buddies, have emerged in Thunder Realms. We're still studying their origins, oh, but it's likely that the appearance of buddies is connected to an energy form called Ether, as they seem to have a particular affinity for Etherite crystals. They dwell across the world, each possessing incredible abilities. Oh, they may ability to see and weather, creating what major impacts on battles. Let's dive into what buddies are, the astonishing powers they hold, and how to make them team up with your hero. What? Buddies. Endless possibilities that will change everything in the game. This new mechanic is set to be a game changer for the battle royale genre. Buddies are gonna change everything. In this new era of Farlight 84, each buddy will have his own unique ability. They might even surpass your heroes. Sounds a bit OP, right? Mm-hmm. Don't panic, let's dive into the details first. Buddies are divided into two types. Hero? And Arkan. Arkan buddies are incredibly rare, 
but their skills are extraordinarily powerful, designed to be stronger than any other elements in the game. That's right. Let's take a look at one of the Arkham bodies. Okay, and the more effects in it. When Time Dominator is released, the safe zone will start moving towards its location. You heard that right. It can change the direction of the safe what? zone. What? <gasps> what? Once activated, Time Dominator can create a moving safe zone, customizing the zone's next location, lasting for a set period of time. Oh, this is so practically unheard of in Battle Royale. What? <laughs> Imagine reaching the final round only to find yourself stuck at the edge, getting sniped by the enemies. You are cooked. Mm -hmm. But you've captured Time Dominator. Release Time Dominator and you transform the safe zone. Combined with the yung from Nightwatch and the Little Dragon from Momoi, you set a perfect trap. Nilipat ba naman yung zone? But fighting alongside something this powerful does come with its own risks. What secrets could it be hiding? Jump into Fallout 84 to find out. Mm -hmm. Now let's check out another Arkham buddy, Storm Empress. Storm Empress unleashes a massive tornado, sweeping up nearby enemies, vehicles, and all other moving objects, causing <laughs> moderate damage. Players caught in the air are flung even further, drastically shifting the dynamics of the map with shuffling yet enemies <laughs> on both sides. True to its cool art, you know Storm it. Empress is more powerful than anything else. No hero's ability could even compare to hers. No, 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 don't argue with me, no. But the common bodies are pretty strong too, right? That's right. And unlike the rare Arkham buddies, Common buddies are found everywhere, making them mm. easier to get and adaptable to any situation. Let's take a look at the other buddies featured in this update. Zephy. Zephy creates a continuous wind field at the targeted direction. Moving against the oh. wind slows you down, which adds complexity to the battlefield and keeps enemies away. Buzzy. Buzzy transport down to the dito, kung pwede bang sirain yan? Right in front of you, mm. creating a safe environment for you to revive. Okay, OP yan, OP. Damn. Squeaky. Squeaky acts like a cannon, launching you far away to quickly escape danger or reach what? your target location. What? Ang kulit. Paddle paper. Paddle Paper rapidly scans the map, revealing the surrounding environment and enemy's positions. Oh. Snatch OP, OP na mga ano. Snatch Paw steals a random items from the nearest enemy, including anything but their weapons and shields. Then brings it back to you while you're leaving a trail in the air. So be careful not to expose your position. Morph Drake. Morph Drake helps you blend in by disguising Drake. you as an object. You move <laughs> and stay in the scans. But if you are attacked, the disguise will drop. But in reality, buddies serve as an efficient option for specific situations rather than being the only situation. First, the number of buddies you can catch is limited. You can carry up to seven buddies at a time, and since you need buddy orbs to catch them, the number of orbs you have will also limit how you allocate your resources. This means you will not only be capturing buddies, but also collecting various items for when you need them. So you have to assess the importance of buddies compared to other resources. Mm, okay, okay. Secondly, each time you release a buddy, there is a cooldown period. Buddies is certainly part of your flashy combo, but it's the hero skills and the Damn. weapons that can really string together great damage. With this mechanic, buddies become a tactical tool that's used with a low frequency but high efficiency. For example, Buzzy can quickly rescue a downed team. You know. You can also use Ember's smoke bomb to achieve a similar result. But in this extreme scenario, you can rescue both teammates at once without having to make a tough choice. Another example is Maggie, who doesn't naturally have the anti-cover abilities. But with just one chance, 
releasing Sparky can significantly boost her offensive capabilities. Or take Night Watch, who already <laughs> has control abilities. He can combine his Sheriff with Zevi to set up a defensive formation yeah, in narrow passages to block enemy advantages. And the introduction of buddies will greatly expand your options and bring endless possibilities to your playstyle. Now, you see how crucial buddies are, but how hard is it to get them? Due to the effects of Aether, Sunder Realms will be where buddies make their appearance. Throughout mm. Sunder Realms map, you'll find plenty of buddies. A standard outpost will have at least three or four buddies waiting to be discovered. But if you don't come across a time dominator, well, try again next time. Once captured, buddies will hover around you. And during combat, you can swap out and use right buddy at any time. This version will introduce a total of 10 buddies. And as future seasons arrive, more buddies will be discovered and will make their appearance in Fallout 84. I'm already imagining all the possibilities in the game. Me too. I'm imagining all kinds of new buddies designs. If you've got any ideas for new buddies, drop them in the comments below or give others design a thumbs up. No idea is too crazy, but some might be too crazy. Of course, we do have to think about game balance, right? Mm -hmm. All right, aside from buddies, we also mentioned that buddy orbs can store items too. So what can they store? The items that buddy orbs can store include tactical facilities. What? And vehicles. Let me introduce you to a brand new set of items, tactical facilities. These structures are scattered ah. around the map. They each have their own health bar so they can be destroyed. Ah. These special structures no, come in various so. forms, but they aren't immediately useful. They shine when you find yourself in a battle providing you tactical advantages. Ka so now, let's store them in the buddy or for now. When the time comes, you can quickly deploy the right facility to build a defensive or offensive fort. Uncle with the buddy orb, you can manage all sorts of resources on the fly. The possibilities in Fortnite 84 have just expanded in a big way. Who's that buddy? Yeah, now who's that Pokemon? It's with buddies showing up, Sunder Realms have come back to life. And the ecosystem is looking way better. Just look at the lush vegetation. Even the terrain has gotten steeper mm, and more interesting in the thanks to buddies. Mm -hmm. The more varied terrain really highlights the character's mobility. Like, you can now slide down huge slopes at crazy speeds. The different terrain levels also make more running and movement skills way more fun and intense. But it's not just the environment that's changed. The Fallout community has also built a bunch of new structures in Sunder Realms to closely yeah, study be bodies. Be These new big structures and cool landmarks give each point of interest its own unique look and feel. They don't just help you spot your landing target faster when you launch, they also act like landmarks that guide you around the map. Take this example, a gigantic dark site at the peak of the residential area. Before the update, the buildings were tucked away among high mountains, making it hard to find or even know there was a point of interest on the other side. But now, with a huge duck side, you can spot it from far away. Even from behind the mountains, you'll see the Nova Bazaar is right there. Then, there's the terminal. Mm. By being unreachably high, it's set to become the new landmark of Transport Port. The area was previously low profile and near the edge of the map. Now, you can see from far away, even at a blade rock mine, and use it as a guiding post. And look at this, a floating wow. boulder above the laboratory. At the right, glowing in mesmerizing colors, and the giant mushrooms, probably affected by Aether. I wonder if I could take a fight during a fight. You can. <laughs> Besides these giant landmarks, the smaller ones are super important too. The terrains are looking more complex now and your view might be limited. These smaller points of interest stand out and help you get your bearings quickly. We've also built a brand new feature called the Reckon Beacon. 
you can see its location and availability on your minimap. When you use it, it reveals the enemies within a certain range and then it goes into cooldown. Compared to other ways to scout, this Reckon Beacon has a wider range and marks enemies for a longer time. However, be aware that nearby enemies will get notified when it's activated. On top of that, we've revamped logistics facilities across the galaxy. There are these new outposts like Blade Rock Mine, Duck Hill Plateau, Bawar and Lightcatcher Camp. Finally, for maps, let's talk about some tactical improvements inside enclosed buildings. Up until now, these buildings have been pretty plain with not much room for tactical gameplay. To tackle this, we've created a series of design details within these spaces. For example, in this previously empty room, we've added two sets of cover. <clears throat> it might seem simple, but when you're hiding in there during the final round, you'll see its true colors. With the door closed, yeah, no, no, the no, one who's no, no, entering no, no, needs to be no, extra no. cautious. Walking right into an ambush, taken out with a single shot, isn't the best time. Similar design details can be found in other spaces and will make the game way more intense and exciting. From terrain and vegetation, to landmarks and points of interest, to enclosed indoor spaces, and now with the new technical sun. facilities too, Farlight 84 has seriously ramped up the map's tactical depth. You'll encounter enemies and fight in quarters closer than ever before. So your weapon skills are just as important as how you use your hero si and buddies to take na. control of the situation. And that brings us to the next big topic. Yes, up next, we'll dive into weapons and heroes in Fallout 84. First of all, weapons. As the Fallout Cup heats up, the committee has given the entire arsenal a complete Binagun. overhaul. Every weapon Binagun is crafted with the latest attack, making them more precise and powerful. Your favorite skins are getting a fresh Thank look you, busy. Too, perfectly fitting the new weapon M4. models. Now, let's dive in. Binagun. The new weapons Binagun. now all have clear positionings. Each has its own unique advantage in certain scenarios. Assault rifles. These are the all-rounders. Perfect for mid-range combat. Great balance between Thank stability you, and power. The backbone of any squad. Take the M4 for example. It's a crowd favorite because it's so oh. stable. But its damage is on the lower side. On the flip side, you've got AK-77. It's got a higher recoil, gonna... but it deals massive damage. Top choice for sharpshooters. Then, there's our new Predator Assault Rifle. Its rate of fire increases with each shot hitting maximum speed by the 5th bullet. So if you want to max out your DPS, make sure to give it time to ramp up. Plus, all assault rifles now have the option to switch between full auto and semi-auto modes, giving you more tactical flexibility. We can't wait to see the new tricks you'll pull off with this new feature. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about shotguns. Shotguns are the kings of close-range combat, perfect for indoor and up-close brawls. The newest shotguns each have their own standout features. I mean, Striker 12 packs the most punch, capable of firing 6 rounds in oh, rapid succession. Shotgun. But here's the catch, you've got to aim for the head or the high spread might leave you open to a counter-attack. The mm. Eliminator is another new addition, a shotgun a with shotgun. a higher DPS and quicker firing rate. We've also added an aim down sights feature to shotguns, significantly tightening the spread and boosting your accuracy. Now, let's get to the coolest looking of them all, the sniper rifles. Bar. Sniper rifles are the masters of long range combat, perfect for picking off enemies from high ground or concealed positions ano, SBD good na. at suppressing enemy positions. Take the classic Bar 95. It's a bolt action sniper that demands pinpoint accuracy but rewards you with massive damage enough to take out an enemy with one shot if their shield is down. One shot then you've got two EMR, MK24, and Thunder, both semi auto snipers that don't need to reload after each shot. They're not particularly flashy, but they're reliable tools for any budding sniper. And don't forget the new heavy heater. Arbiter Sniper Rival. Oui. You can find this beast in airdrops and it's got devastating power. 
Even fully armored enemies won't stand a chance. <laughs> One hit. Headshot. Sniper rifles are also giving a okay. realistic touch My to this update. We're adding breath sway when aiming. Holding your breath will help reduce recoil and improve accuracy. Finally, let's not forget about the LMGs and SMGs. Every gun now has its own strengths and weakness. We'll be rolling out more detailed guides on all weapons okay, soon to help you get a deep understanding of each one. So be sure to stay tuned. Now, you probably noticed that the weapons look a lot different now too, right? Mm -hmm. mm, That's skins. because we've introduced an all-new ADS system, which is just the beginning. In the future, we're even considering <coughs> adding the <gasps> This update also brings new visual effects and sound designs for all weapons. In terms of visuals, we've added new muzzle flashes and bullet trajectory effects. There are also new animation for actions like picking up and switching weapons, reloading and ADS and so on. update again. With the new ADS system, you'll even see your hands. Weapons that used to look pretty basic in first person now have a sharper, more no. defined details. And when you're in scope view, you'll still see your current magazine capacity. The scopes also have a more realistic 3D look. From what we've shown so far, I'm sure if noticed something. Nandame. The animations for character movements, attacks, and oh, idle states are animation. all refreshed to match the updated weapons. And the ano, feels talon, smoother, ano? more realistic, and with a imba, richer imba. texture. That's right. Weapons are the heart and soul of any shooter game. So in the future, we'll keep Ang updating the weapons and expanding the attachment system. Our goal is to make each category and even each individual weapon feel uniquely positioned through its attachments. Here's a little secret. Starlight 84 will be getting its very first on the door, on the door, on the door. Who's that buddy? It's Squeaky! <laughs> Grab your update now, yeah? To help focus each match's objective, We've made some adjustments to hero level caps and experience gain in the last version. And this time, we're moving forward with a brand new mechanic, Tactical Core. The Tactical Core ah. is an in-game skill-free system that offers potential for customizing your hero's attributes. Each time your hero levels up, the Tactical Core upgrades, granting you a trade point and your shield level increases based on your hero's attributes. Oh More importantly, God. after respawning, you retain all the Tactical Core levels and trade points you've earned. No need to start over! Oh. You've been mentioning trade points. Nice. Trade points are used to upgrade hero skills. Each skill can be upgraded twice per match and with 6 trade points, you can max out all your skills. The first upgrade for any skill enhances its attributes, like reducing cooldown, while the second upgrade unlocks an additional special ability. You can adapt on the fly, prioritizing the skills and traits that benefit you the most. To level up, find these new XP devices that are scattered across the map. You can earn up to 5 trade points through leveling up in a match. Wait. How about the last one? Oh my there are god. Six <laughs> For that final trade point, you'll need to find a special item called the Trade Activation Card. The Trade Activation Card is extremely rare, found in gold supply chests, airdrops, and sponsor boxes. It'll provide you with that last point to max out your trades. As for your shield, you'll now only need to replenish it. There's no need to upgrade the shield separately anymore. Mm. If you pick up a shield that exceeds your level cap, the extra shield value will create a temporary shield that lasts for a short time. This new tactical core system is a basis for expanding possibilities of progression within each match. This is just the beginning of a new era. We're exploring and developing more interesting and rewarding tactical core mechanics. But before we expand the system further, we'd love to hear your feedback. When the update drops, be sure to try Farlight 84 and share your thoughts in the comments below. I miss that Pokemon. It's Storm Empress. As a hero shooter, Heroes have always been at the core of Fallout 84. 
Every system in a game is built around these heroes, creating endless possibilities. While the new era of Fallout Universe is unfolding, our heroes are also getting some fresh updates in both appearance and gameplay. This time, we'll bring you a revamped and stylish si new look for yan. Bo. Si Bo. As a damage oh. hero, Bo is a dangerous expert in explosive Ay, and no, ruthless no, killing. Sorry, guys. Come closer, closer. Beautiful Oblivion is beckoning. He wasn't always like that. Bo used to be just a junior researcher, but being framed in the instant made him lose his mind. Can't you hear it? That warm scarlet liquid sings to me like morning doves. Grab. Now, whenever he sees someone with a good look, his bloodlust kicks in, making him a fearsome and relentless killer. And now, he's upgrading Be his bombs. Let's dive into these changes to both skills. Tactical skill 1 now comes with two default chargers. After upgrading the skill twice, you unlock additional... Oh, lakas pa ng ano na sa chill niya. In explosion, he himself gains damage reduction. But if the enemy gets hit, they will suffer bonus damage. Tactical skill 2 gives him extra ability after two upgrades. When the grenade lands, it explodes and stuns, leaving behind some sub-grenades that will detonate again at the short delay, causing Grabe more stuns. Bo. Ultimate skill oh, now has a passive effect. Yes, passive. Upon using any skill, both next skill gets a boost. Can you believe someone this dangerous and crazy would actually join the Farlight Cup? And the organizers agree. It's just scary. But then again, other light catchers in the game are no pushovers. I'm excited to see who's going to come up on top. Besides Bo, some other heroes have also gotten updates to their abilities. Nightwatch. Nightwatch set no drone of his tactical skill now has a movement ability. When deploying the drone, Nightwatch can ah! <laughs> and fly or shorty steps, What? But at a slower speed than usual. Looks like Nightwatch has been hitting those fake workouts hard. I wonder who's more jacked, Nightwatch or Captain? Captain. Ready. After deploying Nine. Digital Blockade, using the skill again will have the device return to Freddy's current location. With this, Freddy can set up a trap by teleporting to the enemy, then pull the device back to control them with precision. Mm. Lucinda. Lucinda's tactical skill 1 now comes with two default charges. After upgrading it twice, you'll get an extra effect. When she leaps into the air, she can mark any enemies she spots. Momoi. Okay. Momoi's Momo tactical skill 1 now provides a three sided shield. Each side has its own durability, and oh. even friendly fire from teammates can damage the shield. Momoi's tactical skill 2 allows her to slowly fly upward with her dinosaur when holding the jump button. After upgrading her ult twice, the dinosaur will deal damage and slow down enemies within range. Yong. His tactical skill will now cover a larger scan area, and his ult's enemy detection will switch to intermittent scans. After two upgrades, it also extends the scan duration. For more details on hero skills, stay tuned for our upcoming full patch notes. And for all heroes, we've made some design improvements <laughs> to movements like wall run. Whether on the flat ground, changing directions, jet sliding, using ropes or wall running, the controls now feel more responsive, natural and fluid. We've also created new kill animations to provide clearer feedback during fights. Mm -hmm. Bad Animations bad. of healing and shield recharge now also fit better with the Far Light 5. To make the battlefield even crazier, we've increased the density and performance of vehicles in this version. And of course, to welcome more of you to Fallout 84, we've revamped the tutorial. Come join Michel and give it a try. You'll find the new training grounds that are easier to understand. But here's something to note. The old Sunset City map will be made available in fun mode instead of ranked to maintain competitive integrity. Huh? Aside from gameplay, there will also be a bunch of new skins. Our cold-blooded assassin and spy, Phantom. Phantom, is about to host a grand wedding dressed in the Faithful Whisper skin. As a top-notch agent, she'll stop at nothing to complete wow. her mission, even if it means becoming someone's bride. 
Beneath the veil, the bride's blushing cheeks are as delicate as roses. But behind her back is a gun ready to fire. Besides Phantom's new skin, there are plenty more cosmetics in the series waiting for you to unlock, so don't miss out. Inandami! It's Wolf Trick. Farlight, the mysterious glow that guides us forward. It awakens the spirit of adventure within us, driving us to explore uncharted territories. To uncover its secrets, we must first discuss a unique energy, Ether. Ether is the versatile source of energy. Its discovery resolved our energy crisis in space, ushering in unprecedented technology and capabilities. When this glow appears in the sky, it indicates a rich concentration of Ether energy. And this glow is known as the Farlight. Farlight not only represents hope, but also symbolizes unknown dangers. Guided by Farlight, a brave group known as the Light Catchers emerged, exploring far and wide in search of Ether's power. Against this backdrop, Farlight 84, this grand event was born. Everything you see today, buddies, heroes, skills, devices, and even the safe zone reflects the fierce competition and manifestation of Ether's power. The future of the Farlight universe will be even more exciting, battles growing ever more intense. As members of the Farlight Cup Committee, we once again extend a big welcome to all of you to Farlight 84. Farlight 84, Hi Buddy, arrives on September 12th. Okay, September 12th, guys. This time, Farlight 84 will launch globally as a life belt. Try natin. After years of evolution, <clears throat> Farlight 84 is about to enter a new era. We're once again pushing our limits to bring you an all-new shooter experience. Hi, buddy. With Hi, this buddy. Update, we're <clears throat> introducing three major innovations. The Buddy Orb and Buddies. Introducing a groundbreaking, hat-catching battle royale, giving you endless playstyle possibilities. Weapons, a completely revamped arsenal, delivering a more realistic shooter experience. And maps, overhaul terrains and structures, inspiring tactical gameplay at all ranges. These new features will not only revolutionize Fallout 84, but also lay the foundation for our future evolution, ultimately redefining the shooter genre. Fallout 84 is more than just a game. It's a complete universe that we call the Far Light Universe. In past trailers, we've revealed a glimpse of our characters' histories, but that was just the beginning. In the days ahead, we hope to unveil more of the Farlight universe and its stories to you. Farlight 84 is our dream and yours. Let's get together to make Farlight 84 the most unique game in the entire galaxy! Damn, grab. I know you guys more. In the future, we're planning more updates to Sunder Realms with a brand new area. The mega boss we've been waiting for will <gasps> also be there. Another secret an entirely new map is in the works. Set in a futuristic city, this map will offer more information of the Farlight universe with rich terrains and interesting building structures. I really cannot wait! We'll be sharing more details and updates soon, so be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts. See, See you on September 12th in Farlight 84. See, See ya! See you, buddy! <gasps> Finally, what a big day! Yeah. Am I not on your radar yet? Did you hear something? Yeah. What's that? I don't know. Who's that? All right. I'll prove to you what I'm made of. Until then. Sheesh. So, ayun, that's it. Grabe yung update ni Farlight this September 12. <laughs> Ewan ko lang. 
Ang dami, ang daming ano, kailangan mo i-process kung ano yung mga bago. Kailangan mo naman mag-adjust. So, medyo excited ako sa uh, update nila. So, wait na lang natin. Baka bigyan din kami ng ano, ng beta test sa PC. Try, try kong i-ano yung mga bago. So, yun lang guys. Kayo, anong <laughs> anong opinion nyo about sa newest update? No? Sa akin, grabe. Ang dami na lang ginawa para lang sa game. So, prop sa ano sa devs ng Farlight. So hopefully maging successful yung update nila no. So yun lang naman guys and see you sa September 12. So yun lang. Bye-bye.